Today we're taking a look at the Fanjing S690Q series NVMe solid state drive. Thanks to Fanjing for sending this SSD over for us to take a look at today. These S690Q series solid state drives are solidly in the mid range for PCI Express Gen 4 drives, and I would say they're mainly targeted towards PC enthusiasts, gamers, workstations, and if you need a drive for your PS5. This solid state drive boasts a maximum rate speed of up to 4700 megabytes per second and a read speed of up to 5200 megabytes per second. This solid state drive utilizes QLC NAND coupled with HMB technology as opposed to the traditional onboard DRAM. In general, a lot of people tend to shy away from HMB drives, but I will say that this one definitely surprised me. The HMB drives definitely seem to be getting better and better over time. I would say that this drive is relatively solid in terms of performance, and you could definitely use this as an operating system drive if this drive is in your budget. HMB technology involves utilizing a tiny amount of system memory essentially to replace the onboard DRAM and still accomplish most of the work that would have typically been done by the DRAM. This will help increase endurance and overall write and read speed for the solid state drive. In terms of my setup, I set this solid state drive up as the main OS drive in my Ryzen 9700 test system with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6000 CL28 memory, thanks to G-Skill, and my Asus RTX 4070 Super. In terms of performance testing, I ran the Crystal Disk Mark 8 benchmark on the solid state drive to get a feel for the performance with the operating system actually running on the drive. I did get a couple of varying results, but in general, the write speeds were in the low 3000 megabytes per second range, and the read speeds were somewhere around the 46 to 4700 megabytes per second range. As for the 3 d Mark solid state drive test, the S690Q averaged about 350-ish megabytes per second in terms of averaged total bandwidth, and the average access time for the solid state drive was about 88 microseconds. Given that this drive was actively running as the operating system drive with Windows 11 Pro installed, I think these are decent results, especially considering the price on the S690Q. The S690Q comes in two variants. You can get the one terabyte drive, which is what I have here today, and a two terabyte drive if you need the extra density. The one terabyte model has an endurance rating of about 320 terabytes written, and the two terabyte version has a 640 terabytes written endurance rating. For typical gaming PC usage, or just workstations in general, I think this is actually plenty of endurance, and it's about average for a QLC drive. This should typically last most people quite a long time. Just for reference, I have a couple of very old generation Samsung and Intel SSDs that are still going strong, and they're in the mid 200 terabytes written range. So I don't really have any doubts that the S690Q is going to serve you well for many years. Fanjing warranties these SSDs for about five years, which is what I would expect from a modern NVMe SSD. In terms of the cooling, we're not getting a heatsink included with this solid state drive, but it does come with a multi-layer cooling approach. There's a PET layer, a graphite coated copper foil layer, and an aluminum foil layer, as well as a thermal sticker layer. This is definitely okay for the solid state drive, but if your motherboard happens to come with a heatsink for your M.2 drives, that will definitely help you claw back a little bit of the performance, especially during very intense operations or during extended workloads. Given that we know this drive is a QLC NAND flash drive and it uses HMB, I think it was still relatively fast. And like I said, the endurance is actually pretty good for the average user. I personally wouldn't have an issue using this as the main OS drive or just a regular data drive in a workstation or a gaming PC. The operating system felt relatively snappy. I couldn't really tell any difference between this and most of the other SSDs that I've tested lately in terms of general usage of the PC. Right now, the one terabyte version of this drive is going for about 60 bucks on Amazon, which makes it decently price competitive. And the two terabyte drive is going for about 110. So a little bit more value there if you go up to the higher capacity, if you need it now, or if you grow into it. I would say that this is definitely a solid budget pick for an NVMe SSD. 
and if this is what fits into your budget, I think you're going to be just fine with it. I'll have some affiliate links in the description below to the 1 and 2 terabyte versions of this NVMe drive, as well as the entire test system that I used for the video. So definitely head down there and check that out if you want to pick one of these up for your system. If you're into gaming and product videos like this one, get subscribed to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. There's plenty of videos and builds on the channel, so definitely check those out too. Until next time, keep on gaming.